we want to find the general solution to the given differential equation. So we need to be able to recognize that this is a linear second order homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients, which means the differential equation fits this form here. And because of this, we can find the general solution by finding the solutions to the characteristic equation given here below. So notice in this problem, we have a equals one, b equals four, and c equals two. And therefore, the characteristic equation would be one r squared, or r squared, plus four r, plus two, equals zero. And then based upon the solutions to the characteristic equation, we can determine which form the general solution will take, and then we can find that solution by using the solutions to this characteristic equation. But notice how in this case, this is not factorable because there are no factors of positive two that add to positive four, and therefore to find the solutions, we'll have to use the quadratic formula given here. So we would have r equals negative b, or negative four, plus or minus the square root of four squared minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is two, all divided by two times a, or two times one. Let's go ahead and simplify. Here we're going to have sixteen minus eight, that's going to be eight, and divided by two. And since eight is equal to four times two, and the square root of four is equal to two, we have negative four plus or minus two square root two divided by two. Let's go ahead and break this up into two parts and then simplify. So we have negative four divided by two plus or minus two square root two divided by two. So r is equal to negative two plus or minus square root two. Remember this represents two solutions. So we have two distinct real irrational solutions to the characteristic equation. We can say that r sub one equals, let's say, negative two plus square root two, and r sub two equals negative two minus square root two. Now remember, the types of solutions to the characteristic equation determine the form of the general solution. So for a quick review, if the characteristic equation has two distinct real roots, as in our case, this is the form of the general solution. So we'll simply substitute r sub one and r sub two into our function. If we had two real equal roots, this would be the form of the solution. Notice the extra factor of x in the second term. And if the characteristic equation had complex solutions, we would use this form for the general solution. So going back to our example, we're going to use this form here for our solution. So we have y of x equals a constant, which we'll call c sub one times e, raise the power of r sub one times x, which would be negative two plus square root two times x plus c sub two times e, raise the power of r sub two times x, which is negative two minus square root two times x. So this would be the general solution to the given differential equation. I hope you found this helpful.